Example number three. How foreign does an antigen need to be in order to be recognized? Okay, so what does that mean, how foreign? Well, it has to be foreign enough, right? But the key word is enough. Now, it's relative, isn't it? Because what we know, for instance, say if indeed you want to get, um, you know, you need a transplanted organ, for instance, say you need, you know, you've been suffering from diabetes, unfortunately, and, and you know, the, the kidneys have gradually deteriorated over time because of that. And at some point, you need a kidney transplant. So, what do they do? Who do they look for and why? Okay, so here's the question. What is the big issue about getting a transplanted organ? The big issue is you don't want rejection. You don't want the immune system to recognize that organ as being foreign. So often what happens when you require a transplanted organ is that the first thing that happens is they uh, look at look at the relatives of the individual who needs the transplant. Why? Because the relatives are very genetically similar to the recipient. And the more similar you are in, in terms of that transplanted organ, the less likely you're going to have tumor rejection. So, so basically, you know, with, with this transplantation, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find an organ that is not foreign from the human body. So, so, but, you know, foreignness can also indicate, you know, is, is the tissue or is the pathogen or is the antigen non-human? Is it from a different species? Now, the other thing we know is that it's easier, it's easier, let me make sure that's spelled, easier for the immune system okay easier let's put that in in quotes easier for the immune system to recognize a eukaryote what is a eukaryote well a eukaryote is a cell with a nucleus right and isn't the human uh Oh gosh, here I am. I'm even missing my own question. Actually, it's easier for the immune system to recognize a prokaryote. Okay, and why? Because a prokaryote is a cell that does not have a nucleus. What is the number one prokaryote pathogen? Prokaryotic pathogen, it's bacteria. Okay, so it's easier for the immune system to recognize a cell that is not a eukaryotic cell. It is more difficult, you know, let's put that in quotes, for the immune system to recognize, it is more difficult for the immune system to recognize a eukaryote. What are some eukaryotes that the immune system has a difficulty recognizing? Fungi, helminths, oops, helminths, and the third kind is the protozoa. Now, there are lectures for each one of those organisms, so I highly recommend you refer to those lectures to get a better handle on how the immune system recognizes those organisms. So, in relationship to answer, how foreign does the antigen need to be? To be recognized, it needs to be foreign enough. And there, this whole lecture, at least is in relationship to antibodies and antigens, is really devoted to that particular question. So that ends our lecture for the day. Thank you so much for visiting educator.com.